our YouTube channel. I'm backstage at the Great Escape and I'm hanging out with a respectful child from Canada. How are you? It's great to meet you. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm all done playing everything. <laughs> I don't have to perform anymore, so I feel really like light. Yeah, you yeah. relax and chill. Do you, do you yeah. get quite nervous before a performance? Um, no, not really. I, uh, I grew up as a classical musician, uh -huh. so I had to do like lots of competitions and things like that, and that was way more nerve-wracking because I was playing other people's music and getting judged. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whereas in this, I, I'm playing my own stuff. If I mess up, I can just do whatever I want. Uh -huh. <laughs> improvise so yeah, it's a lot more fun oh cool yeah so respectful child like yeah. what does her name mean um, where does the band name come from yeah yeah so my my parents are chinese and they're uh -huh. from malaysia and when i was born my grandma came all the way to canada which which is where i'm from uh -huh. um uh, to like you know see us when we were born and to give us our names and stuff and so uh -huh. my chinese name uh, is Ding Er, and it literally translates to respectful and child, oh, okay. like the two characters. But uh, because I grew up in uh, like an Anglophone uh, area, like yeah. uh, Saskatchewan, where I'm from, um, I, I've only spoken English most of my life, okay. and everyone only calls me by like my English name, and no one ever called me by my Chinese name. So this is kind of like a way to make that name have meaning for me again, yeah. to like make it my name again. Um, so it, it, now it's been kind of neat to to have people address me as that like uh -huh. they're like oh are you a respectful child and I at first it would always sound so cheesy but now it feels a little bit more like me yeah which is a nice feeling do you feel like you have that identity with your music as well like the the name that you've been given by your you know, your ancestry and yeah. stuff forms your identity as a musician um like yes and no I mean everyone who creates music a they're, a part of your identity is going to be in it no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that my music is informed by that, uh, like by my ancestry. I um, I read, my, my friend pointed out to me in the booklet for A Great Escape how we all got kind of like a two sentence description yeah. of our band. And I read mine and they actually used the words or oriental ambience to describe me and I was really sad to hear that um, that's like a very unfortunate word that I wish no one would ever use anymore and it was kind of like I want to be recognized that I'm Chinese I'm Asian but yeah. to say that my music has an oriental sound to it is like kind of inaccurate it's yeah. kind of like yeah. uh, this very generalized thing and mm. it's kind of they're seeing me and then they're hearing me and they just put two and two together so um, like uh, I make music that I want to hear and that I'm not hearing anywhere else yeah and, it, and it's like gives me good feelings and I hope to like just share those uh -huh. like, nice feelings around so yeah that's, that's kind of where most of like my influence comes from <laughs> it's all about like emotions and like yeah. feelings and textures yeah. So like um, you play violin mm -hmm. and what instrument do you wish you played that you can't? Um, I'm really lucky that I have a lot of musical training so mm -hmm. a lot of instruments I've been able to I, get, I can't play them super well but I've been able to dabble on a lot of things um, I, my biggest hurdle is learning how to like do electronic things like through software and do like digital audio workspaces and um, so my uh, in the fall I'm actually going to be like sitting down and learning how to use Ableton. <laughs> so that, that's like my next my 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 new challenge for myself. Oh yeah. really? A real it's, it's dedication. It's like a whole different world. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. I guess when you're an artist, you sort of it's a lot deeper than just getting on stage and performing music, there's yeah. recording, there's writing, there's you're hanging out with, you know, journalists and bloggers <laughs> and doing interviews yeah. and so it's so multifaceted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I don't wanna if I wanna actually make music with something, uh -huh. I don't wanna be able to just play it at the bare minimum. Uh -huh. I want to be able to express myself yeah. fully through it. And so right now the violin is what I can do that uh, most uh, accurately for like what I want to portray. Uh -huh. But uh, I would love to be able to branch much more into like electronic production. Kind of yeah. So like speaking about other music and things, so you're in a you're in a long distance relationship and <laughs> yeah. one of the things that really bonds you two is music and you have a Spotify playlist that you share together and yeah. you know you share music with each other. Yeah, so what yeah. kind of stuff's on there? And what's the playlist called? Because Spotify playlists, like the names are infinite. Um yeah, my uh, so my partner is DB1 Rivers, who is also an amazing musician. Everyone should check them out. <laughs> Heck yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna get in? Yeah, this is DB1. Hi. <laughs> um so <laughs> uh, we met each other because uh, we followed each other on Instagram and we became fans oh. of each other's music first. Yeah. And uh, 
uh, and then we started chatting about music, and uh -huh. then uh, when we finally met, we like fell in love. <laughs> and um, yeah, we ha we we made a playlist to because we wanted we're so far apart. Um, mm. For people that know Canada, I'm in Saskatoon, they're in Toronto. It's about like a three-hour uh, plane ride. And so we don't get to see each other as often as we'd like, obviously. Uh -huh. And we want to be able to say, oh, I'm listening to this thing. I want you to share it yeah. with me. Um, they've, they've introduced me to so many things I, I haven't listened to before, like a lot of Frank Ocean and like, <laughs> um, like a lot of uh, like house from, from artists like Shigeto and Mondo Grosso. And uh -huh. um, we listen to a lot of ambient things yeah. and a lot of like instrumental things from, from artists like Teebs and Pardon? Oh, oh yeah, and, and, and like the name of the playlist is Nini Moshen, which uh, in um, Anishinaabemowin, which is uh, a Zibiwan's language, um, okay. Zibiwan's Anishinaabe, um, it's kind of like the equivalent of sweetheart or honey. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely. It's really massive now. Uh, we've been together for about six months and the playlist is over 11 hours Wow. Long. Uh, it's good for long road trips. Yeah, <laughs> or you know, flights or whatever <laughs> else. Or you see each yeah, other exactly, and stuff. Exactly. So if you could collaborate with any artist, who yeah. would it be, dead um, or alive? Oh, uh, that's such a hard question to like think about. Um, I would. Uh, I really, really admire the label uh, Erase Tapes. Yes, and, and, yes, and yes. And there's a there's an, uh, band on there. I think so that they're still on there called Dawn of Midi from Brooklyn that mm. I, I love a lot. And, um, and another hero of mine is Lido Pimienta. I don't know if she's well known out here, but she's really blowing up uh, in Canada. She won the Polaris Prize this year. And um, I really, really admire both her music, but also like her personality and the way that she stands for things. Um, so those two. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. So like, what's next for you after here? Like when you go back to Canada, have you got lined up? Have you got any releases coming up we can check out? Uh, not. Nothing confirmed yet. Um, I just recorded with an artist named Ray Spoon on their oh, upcoming cool. album uh, just before I flew here, actually. Yeah. Um, but other than that, this is like my big, my first big tour <laughs> abroad, and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. what an amazing experience. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time thank to you. join us in the Nens End this yeah, year. Yeah. And then um, best of luck, enjoy your summer, like get some rest. It sounds like it's gonna get real busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Respectful child. I've been Kim and never enough notes. Thanks for watching, you can hit subscribe right there.